just to uh, start this video off, I'm gonna introduce myself. I'm Tommy Jr. Most people know me as Jr. Um, and if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. This is uh, definitely gonna be a interesting experience um, to everyone that's previously been subscribe to the channel i appreciate you uh hanging in there with me uh the channel is just gonna change up slightly um there'll be no more barbering content um there will be motorcycle content uh just not as much as in the past uh, you probably won't see me working on my bike so that's your disclaimer so um hopefully you still want to stay and just follow along with me. Um, I'm closing a chapter. <laughs> I'm closing a chapter on the uh, barber shop, and I'm beginning a new chapter, new journey, new career, uh, and also a new lifestyle, a new business. But and most things, unless you are fortunate to either have an investor or have the funds, you typically have to go to school. So that's what I'm doing right now. So um, there are several schools out there, uh, a lot of good schools. I just chose the one that worked with uh, my interests right now. And there is like I said, a lot of good schools to choose from, but like I said, uh, I went with the school for a company that works for what I need right now at this moment. So without dragging this along, I'm transitioning into the trucking industry. Yeah, um, better late than never, that's my my mindset because uh, I am 39 years old so uh, there there was a lot of years past where I thought about doing it uh, my wife has wanted me to do this um, so I just thought with the barber business slowing up uh, why not give it a shot and if it doesn't work out, I'm like a cat. I'll bounce on my feet and I will figure something else out, but it's, it's gonna work out, trust me. Anything I put my mind to, I achieve it. Not bragging, just that's just how I've been my whole life. That's how my mom raised me, how my grandmother uh, raised me and just believing in myself praying about things, believing, of course, in the Lord, and just everybody's prayer. It's just, it always motivates me, and I always, you know, figure stuff out. Sorry about that. Uh, so that's another thing I'm doing. Don't mind this turban thing. I am also on my log journey, too. I haven't decided if I'm going to put that content on my YouTube or not but it's definitely on my my Instagram. So uh, definitely follow my Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube channel and you can see my lock journey. I think I'll leave it on Instagram for now because I pretty much want to uh, transition my YouTube channel for giving information about the truck industry from someone like me that's just green, brand new, a rookie coming in. So. You're gonna see me make mistakes. Uh, you're gonna see uh, the ups, the downs. And of course, that's all if um, my whoever my trainer is, they allow it. But if, like right now, I'm in the room. See. And yes, with, uh, I'm not gonna reveal the, uh, well, yes I am. I I'm currently at I'm in Corsicana, Texas. I'm going to work for Swift, hopefully. Uh, Swift Transportation. I know uh, if you 
uh, Google Swift or go on social media, YouTube, you see it, you see everybody making fun of TikTok. Everybody's making fun of Swift. And that's kind of what intrigued me more about working for Swift. Plus I see them everywhere. Um, where I live in Texas, Swift is everywhere. I see drive-in, I see reefer, I haven't seen uh, flatbeds. Uh, so the only thing I haven't seen is a tanker. And I don't think Swift does tanker. I, I'm not sure, don't quote me on it. But um, yeah, that's who I wound up going with, with Swift. And uh, yeah, this is my first day here. Uh, just checked into the hotel. Wasn't that far away from where I live. Um, think 50 miles. So I just drove. Uh, depending on how this location was, the, the cleanliness of the room, and then yes, two beds. So I got here first. I I don't know if or when the roommate he'll be over there. Is coming in today or tomorrow, or maybe they just because uh, I even contemplated just driving to school myself. But I'm like, I don't really want to put that many miles on my vehicle, so I'm like, I'll just go at least one day. Um, if me and the roommate don't jail or whatever, because this is different for me, I hadn't shared a, ro a room with anybody outside of my wife and my daughter. Um, yeah, so this is different. Uh, he doesn't know my triggers, my mental temperament. I don't know his triggers, mental temperament. Uh, so this is definitely going to be an experience. I was shocked just as you might be uh, hearing it when they said you'll have a roommate. Because other schools or companies I thought about going to, you don't roommate. You, um, you're in a room by yourself. Now I can see like if it's a team environment, if it's two people that uh, plan on being driving as a team, but I'm, I'm gonna be solo. I can see you putting two, you know, teammates in a room together and you know, a husband and a wife, I can see that, but to put two complete strangers in a room together, it's just unsafe uh, for both of us um, for obvious reasons. And yeah, you just, like I said, you, we, you just don't know. Um, so I'll definitely talk about how this, this experience is gonna go, but I'm still excited. Um, this is uh, something that I thought about for a while and it's like, okay, let's just, let's go ahead and do it, put it in motion. The time is right. Uh, let's get some experience. Um, and let's do something different. I'm just, I'm right by the highway and I just hear the cars. Uh, let you see. So, no blackout curtain. I don't know how I'm going to sleep. Well, it'll be dark outside, but still it's weird that there's no blackout curtain and you can hear every car and truck going down the highway. But I won't make this video long. This is just a, um, you know, a video just explaining uh, the direction of the channel. Um, also, I, I won't make this video that long either. Uh, to all of, like I said, um, the past subscribers and my clients and uh, I'm speaking specifically to the kids and the parents. I enjoy being your barber. From the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you for trusting me to service your son and your daughters, because I did cut some young ladies' hair as well. I, I really appreciate, this is to the parents, I appreciate you allowing me to be in your kid's life. Uh, I was a barber for about seven years. So I, I appreciate that I saw kids go from being kids, teenagers to young adults. And that was cool. That's why I got the grades. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was cool. That was awesome. I appreciate it. Like I said, now this is for the clients. Uh, 
to the kids. I, I appreciate it uh, so much that you would uh, come in, tell me about your days, um, trusting me to give you my advice uh, without overstepping the parent and uh, being a mentor and a friend. And I, I really cherish that and I appreciate that. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm no longer your barber, but you just have to understand sometimes you just have to make changes. And change is good. Change is real good. And I don't have to be a stranger or nothing like that. Uh, my number won't change. My uh, I changed the title of my YouTube and my Instagram, but I'm still, it's, uh, it's not private, it's open, so you can Reach out to me if you still want to talk. Uh, any advice I can give, I definitely will give it. And yet nothing will change until the adult clients that I cut. I also enjoyed and appreciate your business as well. Uh, thank you for allowing me to service you these years and uh, the conversations, uh, of course, like the sign I had in my shop, what goes on in the barbershop stays in the barbershop. So um, yeah, I, I, I really appreciate and I, I cherish the memories of, of that and I hope you as well because uh, I, I told all of my clients uh, another barber I recommended for them to, to go to but ultimately the choice is yours but just uh, his name is Mo he was cutting the sweet uh, right next to me he's a good good barber uh, good guy uh, he's also an instructor he can uh, pretty much cut any style so he, he's a solid guy and he'll be a, a great replacement for myself so uh Make sure you check out Mo. And um, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm still here. So uh, you can reach out to me. I'll get back to you. Now, while I'm in this training phase, I might can't respond as fast as I would like to, but I will uh, respond. I mean, you can still call and text me too. So yeah, so with that said, uh, again, thank you all for staying with me and for the new people, welcome to the channel. And um, this this one was long because I had a lot to get off my chest and it, it had to be said because a lot of people was like, man, why are you quitting being a barber and you have these five star reviews and this and that. Honestly, uh, it's the economy. And I didn't want to make a parent choose between paying bills, feeding their, their family and paying me. So um, I prided myself on keeping my prices the same. So um, I didn't want to raise the prices on you guys. And some of my clients were coming every week or every two weeks. Some were coming once a month, every other month, or sometimes every three months. So it just got to the point where it just, it wasn't profitable for me anymore. So I, I had to make a change. So it wasn't any particular person. Uh, it was just the, the economy. It just changed up and um, I didn't want to raise my prices. So to avoid raising my prices and putting strains on people, I just decided, hey, I just got to make a change. So that's the real reason why, if anybody wants to know. So uh, sorry about that, mustache itch. So once again, thank you, thank you all and stay tuned more.